Okay, let's move on to some packaging tips and tricks or some things that I figured out during my struggle with the packaging. So I've made a copy of uh, virtual uh, VR locomotion 33 and I'm going to rename this to 30, I said, uh, 23, uh, yep, great. So I'm going to rename that and then continue. It is loading on the other screen. It's going to be here in a moment. Okay, here we go. So if I do a package for Windows like this, say okay, we're going to have this. And you know the error if you try to package. It's uh, doesn't uh, mean anything good. So what happens in this case is, oops, okay, I didn't need, need to do that, uh, is that it's going to have something already in here. You can see it's called 30, uh, it's 23. So what you really need to do is just get rid of the binaries. You can also get rid of the build and, oops, uh, binaries build and the intermediate stuff. So just delete all that stuff and then open up your project again. By the way, you don't need to close your project. I did that by mistake. However, when that is said, I actually had uh, a few times happen where the project would not open once I made some changes. Um, that is another thing, uh, kind of related to packaging, actually, because I was doing some packaging and then this bug occurred. Anyway, so once I do a build now or a package, uh, you're going to see that it actually starts building. And that is good. So while, while it is uh, packaging, uh, let me talk about a different thing uh, or that particular strange bug that I was uh, running into. In my base character, I have a bunch of random stuff. It's gotten a little bit big, stuff going on all over the place. And quite a few things here I don't really touch anymore. So let's say the uh, some of all this junk here. I wanted to collapse that so I don't see it. So collapse all the nodes here into just one tiny node just to clean up some space. And I found that once I did that because I was doing some house cleaning here and ended up with something looking really really nice. I only had the stuff that I was working on currently and had all the finalized stuff packed away in a tiny nice organized clump of stuff here in the middle. So I was maybe having something at the size of this completely, uh, which I was currently working on still. And then all kinds of weirdness started to happen. I had the editor crash on me constantly and I could not figure, couldn't, couldn't figure out why. And I seem to track down that it started to happen when I did this collapse graph here. So I would highly recommend against collapsing things. I am definitely not going to do it myself until I'm absolutely sure that things work. And in case you do that, uh, just try uncollapsing things. Anyway, it's still packaging, uh, so I might as well just skip on to another thing. Um, yeah, once you package, uh, you might see some errors that you didn't see uh, initially. So what you can do in order to get access to whatever debug statements that you have in your in your output log here is that you can make your build or your package using the build configuration development. So what that does instead of using shipping, uh, what that does is it's gonna I have my build on the desktop here. So right now it's uh, looking like this and under here we have uh, binaries and content. For another one I just ran the other day after, uh, afternoon uh, while testing uh, was this one. So in here I have that same folder but I also have a saved folder. Inside here we have logs and inside here we have the log here. So this contains everything that you will basically have in the output log. 
and that is going to be super helpful when you start to debug whatever you have in in a package built and you see some random stuff happening uh, you can debug print all kinds of stuff here very useful uh, and it only shows up if you use the build configuration development so I wanted to point out something else in the output log here so you will occasionally see through all this stuff here you, you want to do that actually uh, just to make sure that everything looks as you expect even though there's a bunch of stuff that you probably don't um, need to worry about I have something here about the motion controller I'm not really sure what to do with it so for now I'm just going to ignore it I also have a warning up here but anyway something I need to look into so I can see it's looking really okay down to here and then we get a warning again saying you're ex exporting a U blueprint blah 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 and which is deprecated and you need to add these lines into my editor uh, any file so I, you can get rid of these uh, spam uh, messages by navigating to your uh, saved config windows editor and then you just need to I have a copy of it already but you can copy it out of the output log and just remove the, the trash uh, to begin with so dump this stuff here in your any file and then once you do another build then you're gonna see that everything look uh, all these warnings will stop showing up uh, what else did I want to mention mm, yes one last thing also really really helpful to know is that whenever you make a I think sometimes or not always but sometimes when you set defaults in your blueprints uh, in the package version these defaults will be gone for some reason and I haven't figured out why and when it happens but if you see some things randomly not showing up or not having the expected values and so on uh, which you can by the way see in the log files if you print things out um, then what you want to do is to take a look at what defaults you have set and maybe set them manually so at the top here that is the motion control uh, oh I have a one here example for my tablet my tablet was not working for some reason no. the main static mesh here holding uh, this yeah, tablet the the body of the tablet which is just a a box really it was not showing up in the package build. Everything was working fine in the editor, but uh, once I packaged it, it did not show. Up, did not show up. So, I found out that I need to set them manually. A bunch of uh, collision stuff and visibility, and also in this case, I set the tags as well because I needed the tags for something. Uh, so all of these things, I actually set them at begin play, because otherwise it doesn't work. Uh, and even though I have that those exact same settings set on my uh, defaults in here as you can see I have my collision presets set to custom the tablet response to a pointer and so on by the way I'm not really sure I set the pointer block hmm. oh here it is pointer block Whew. right so that was some of the things I ran into uh, when packaging I hope these tips and tricks will be useful to you if you ever run into something similar and I highly encourage you if you're watching this uh, if you have some things that you've fixed and uh, or you ran into and you managed to find a solution for it uh, please comment on the video uh, if you found the solution if you make a video of it uh, link uh, that video uh, so we can gradually built up some knowledge about um, common things that you can run into when packaging because this is really a new whole new level of uh, complexity and weirdness um, than I've been used to anyway so thank you for watching and bye bye